always start in the morning off with a big breakfast, a cup of coffee. I love ginger and cinnamon mixed in with the grounds. We pour over. It's, it's phenomenal tasting. Head to the gym, start upstairs with some jump rope. I am a masterful jump roper in case you guys can't pick it up through the, uh, the TV screen or phone screen that you're watching this through. I really like it. I don't know why. Kind of a fun thing to do. doesn't really help you a super ton athletically, but it's a nice warm-up. Move into these med ball jump toss kind of fun lateral movement things. We kind of made this up on the fly. It's basically our single leg med ball jump arounds, but we do it in a way that we try to challenge our coordination more so. So like in a normal traditional single leg jump around, you're kind of jumping side to side. This one here, we're trying to have some rhythm, some flow, be in awkward positions and have some fun. Most importantly, with these creative warm-ups, so you want them to be creative and creativity comes from a fun situation. If you're so focused on the drill and not having fun, you're not gonna be really creative at all. For the main lift of the day, we did this single leg step through. Um, I like this from the pins. You don't have to do this with a safety bar. The weight, I don't really focus on how much weight is on the bar. I focus on what it feels like. What I mean by that, if you're an athlete, you can think of this as something called rate of perceived exertion. And there's a lot of good research behind it. It just means the effort that you think that weight makes you use in order to lift it. There's a high correlation between that and the appropriate load that you should be using. So basically just going by feel is a good thing. So we went to some barbell hip thrust using this machine and a weird little situation came up from this. It started to give me a ton of nerve pain later in the day. I'm not sure if it was compression on the femoral nerve where it's resting on your hip or if it's because in that top end locked out position, but for whatever reason, it really bothered me. It kind of bothered me throughout the week and even as I record this video, I gotta make sure uh, I take care of it actively. So it's gotten a lot better, but not perfect. On the court, we did these hang dribbles, messing with our eyes, quick gather, quick shot. Not worried too much about makes and misses because we're trying to challenge ourselves with the drill itself. Later in the day, I played a bunch of one-on-one -on -one, and I posted that video separately. You guys can check that out elsewhere. So thanks for watching.